YouTube beauty world it's Jody here um today we are gonna be doing the TMI tag now the reason we're doing the TMI tag is because I had something else planned for my Monday video which uh, didn't really pan out the items haven't arrived as per the scheduled delivery time so I needed to find something else. I came across the TMI tag. I thought it was a lot of fun and figured I would do it. Um, there's not going to be a lot of editing going along for this because it's just me sort of on the fly answering the questions. Um, you'll see little breaks throughout, not because of editing, but because I film on my uh, iPad mini and it will only let you film for a certain amount of time and then it just stops on its own. So instead of losing everything <laughs> I've already filmed, you'll see my hand go up and I'll reach up and stop it and then restart. But that'll be it for editing. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so TMI tag, question number one. Sorry, I'm not wearing my glasses, so... <laughs> I'm like blind. Uh, what are you wearing? Clothes? Um, I got this little sweater thing. It's really, really sheer. Uh, today is laundry day, so all my t-shirts are in the laundry, so I've been hanging out in the AC, so it's okay, because it is smoking hot outside, but I think it's from Old Navy, and I'm wearing jeans, which I believe might be guess. I'm not sure. Can't read my ass tag. They were the clean ones in the cupboard. Uh, number two, have you ever been in love? <laughs> yes, I have, actually. I'm in love right now. My husband and I just, uh, just shy of a month ago, well, not even, I guess it was two and a half, three weeks ago celebrated our 11th anniversary. We've lived together for 12 years and in total as a couple has been 13. So yes, I'm in love. Uh, number three, ever had a terrible breakup? Um, I've actually, no, I've never had a terrible like romantic breakup, but a friendship breakup, I've had one that was an ep epically bad, epically bad. But romantic relationships, no, generally me and whoever it is knows it's done and, and we just let it go. Um, number four, how tall are you? I am five foot five and a half. I like to pretend I'm five six, but I'm, but I'm not. I'm five five and a half. How much do you weigh? Uh, <laughs> I actually weigh 231 pounds. I am not a tiny woman. I'm a big girl. But a five, five and a half, I wear that weight pretty evenly throughout my body. So a lot of people know I'm heavier, but they don't realize how heavy. Uh, any tattoos? Yes, I have two tattoos. I have a bumblebee on my foot. Um, I know I said I wouldn't do editing, but if I can somehow magically figure out how to put a picture of it up, I will. Um, and the other one I have is this. <laughs> Try and show you guys. Yeah! Two turtles and a flower. There's a story that goes along with it, with it, but there's a lot of questions here. If you guys want to know, let me know down below and I will fill you in. Uh, any piercings? Yes, I've got my nose done. I've got two earrings in this year. Two here. Um, up here is actually pierced, but it kept getting caught. Uh, so I had to take it out. So it's not there, but yes, there is a pierced hole there. There's other piercings I would like to get, but don't have. A uh, favorite TV show. <laughs> this one could take all day. Um, I like a lot of TV shows. Um, I would say right up there's Doctor Who. Um, yeah, American Horror Story. I love American Horror Story. The Walking Dead, uh, Game of Thrones, Masters of Sex, definitely. Um... Yeah, there are so many. The Mindy Project is one of my all-time favorite sitcoms. I absolutely love it. Um, one of my other favorite sitcoms is probably Undateable. And I'm just going through some of the TV shows that are on TV now. If I start adding up the ones that are off the air now, we'll be here all day. I, I could add to that list, but I'm just going to stop it there. Um, favorite bands. Counting Crows, uh, Bare Naked Ladies. Definitely Bare Naked Ladies. Uh, for new bands, I would have to say Mumford & Sons is way, way up there on the list for me. Um, I prefer music with a guitar in it. If it doesn't have a guitar, generally, you can kind of count me out. Um, something you miss. Um, I miss my family and I miss my friends. Um, uh, my sister is the closest family member to me. She's about 45 minutes away. So it, it's pretty good, but my cousins, my aunties, my parents, they all live over three hours drive away. 
so I miss them a lot um, and and people that have passed and friends I don't get to see as often as I used to yeah that's what I miss all right all right and question number 12 favorite song super super easy super easy into the mystic but the version by Van Morrison nobody else does it like Van Morrison so Ma Van Morrison into the mystic definitely my number one song um, one of the other songs, my number two song is probably She Talks to Ang She Talks to Angels by the Black Crows. I could listen to that sucker on repeat. It's crazy. Um, favorite song, sorry, I don't have my glasses on. I keep apologizing because I'm like, ah, I can't read it. Um, uh, where are we? How old are you? I'm 33. Zodiac sign. I am a Virgo. Virgo. A uh, quality you look for in a partner. A sense of humor. Definitely. I don't care if you're ugly. I don't care. Whatever. You have to have a sense of humor. Um, favorite quote. Oh, this is a super, super easy one. Um, happiness makes up for in height what it lacks in length. And that's Robert Frost. Um, do -do. Favorite actor. Doesn't say actress. It says actor. That would be Sir Anthony Hopkins. That man does no wrong. You watch his old stuff, his new stuff. Oh, sorry. The pets are creeping back there. Old stuff, new stuff, doesn't matter. The man is an absolute genius. I absolutely love him. Um, favorite color. I talk about purple a lot on my channel. But that's just because I like how purple looks on my skin tone with makeup. My actual favorite color is red. And like red. I love... I love red. <laughs> Uh, uh, loud music or soft, uh, it depends on the situation. In the car, the louder, the better. In the house, when I'm cleaning and stuff like that, the louder, the better. But there are times when I just like that soft, smooth, jazzy listening in the background. So, yeah. Uh, number 20, where do you go when you're sad? Um, I go home. Um, if I'm sad, and like, like, not just, oh... I'm upset, kind of sad, a passing, but if I'm really sad, I go home, and um, that would either be home here with my husband, home, and if not here, it would be home with my parents and my family, and yeah, where, wherever my husband is or wherever my family is, that's where I go when I'm sad. How long does it take you to shower? <laughs> um, if we're talking just wash the body, I'm kind of wash and go. I'm like a five minute get in, get the job been done, get out. Um, if it's a wash the hair day, which I do every probably about three days, because my I've got very oily skin and so my scalp is very oily, but I find if I wash it more than that, it gets very, very dry and brittle. So about every three to four days, depending on the grease level, I wash it. If it's a wash the hair day or a shave day, I can take up to 20 minutes. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Uh, it depends. If it's a no makeup day, uh, including my shower, I can be in and out the door like in 15, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, like quick. If it's a wash the hair day or a makeup day, I can take up to an hour to get ready. Um, my makeup, I usually try to keep it fairly simple from day to day. If, if it's something like we're going to a special event or something like that, then definitely takes me much longer. But day, day to day going to work, my makeup's generally really, really simple and I just get in and get her done. Get her done, get out. Uh, ever been in a physical fight? No, um, I've never had legitimate fisty cuffs like boxing match with somebody. I have broken two people's noses though, so... <laughs> I guess those could count. There's stories behind that. I'm not generally a violent beer person. I don't go around hitting people. There are legitimate stories um, of when I was a kid and accidents that sort of happened. One was an accident and the other one was totally on purpose. But <laughs> once again, if you want to know about it, let me know. Uh, turn on um, sense of humor. Turn off bad oral hygiene. Wash your teeth. Uh, wash your teeth. Brush your teeth. Keep that mouth fresh and smelling good and you and I will be fine. But if you got skank breath, like stank, like mm, we're, we're done. Uh, the reason you joined YouTube, uh, basically to meet all of you, to share my experiences and the things I like with people and to make some new friends. So that's cool. Um, fears, clowns, clowns, they are the spawn of devil as far as I'm concerned and 
when it comes to clowns and, well, you can tag mascots in there as well. Clowns and mascots, um, I would say that it's not just a fear, but it's probably a borderline phobia. Like, if I even see them on TV, my heart palpitates, I get sweaty hands. Uh, if it's longer than a two seconds that I see it, um, I would go into full, like, panic mode. I had a really hard time. American Horror Story is one of my favorite shows, but I had a really hard time with this season. I kept having to have someone watch it with me and tell me when to close my eyes and open my eyes. Uh, there was a couple times where I messed up and, yeah, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. It was like tears streaming down my face, panic. Um, last thing that made you cry, um, oh, I don't know, I was having a woe be gone, bad symptom, a messy day and had a little bit of a breakdown. Makes you cry from time to time. Uh, last time you said you love someone, that was probably about 15 minutes ago when I told my husband I was going to start filming and he decided to go down into our basement and play some NHL, I think, on the Xbox or something like that. He said he loved me. I said, I love you too. Uh, meaning behind your YouTube name, it is a combination of two nicknames from when I was a kid. Last book you read, it was a horizontal instrument. It's a book that's out of print, but I highly recommend it. It is a very strange book. But I really enjoyed it. I'm in a book club, so... Uh, the book you're currently reading... Uh... Bar I think it's Bartimus. Uh, and the... It's the first one in a series, and it's the Amulet of Samarkand, or something to that nature. I can't remember exactly what it's called. But it's for my book club. Um, it's not a book I would have picked up on my own, but so far, so good. Uh, last show you watched, um... My husband and I watched like the last 20 minutes or whatever that movie Four Brothers right before it was, just happened to be on TV right before I started filming this. So the movie Four Brothers, last TV show I watched was uh, the news this morning. Last person I talked to, my husband, um, the relationship between you and the person you last texted. Um, actually, I haven't texted anybody today, so that would be my coworker, Shirley. She texted me yesterday to make sure everything was going okay because I moved to a new office. And Saturdays I'm there alone, so it was my first time alone. Favorite food? Anything Mexican. Uh, legitimate Mexican, Tex-Mex. I prefer the more authentic the better. Um, and I like it spicy, so. Mm-hmm. Spicy, spicy. Um, last, oh, place you want to visit. Everywhere. Uh, as long as it's not going to a uh, threat to my life to be there, I want to see it. So, anywhere and everywhere. <laughs> That's horrible. I'm so easy. I'm such a tourist slut. Ah, oh, I will. See. I, will I will go anywhere. I don't care. <laughs> last place you were. Um, physically, the last place I was was in my bedroom right before I walked out here to film. Uh, if you mean last place I took a trip to. The last place I took a trip to was actually uh, Port Townsend in Washington. Um, we've made a couple trips like down to Vancouver and stuff but we don't count those because I'm down there all the time to go to UBC um, MS clinic so that doesn't really feel like a trip. So yeah it would have to be uh, Port Townsend. Port Townsend, Washington, amazing place. I want to live there. <laughs> I love it there. It, it's just It's just such a cool place. It's so neat. Last time you were insulted, uh, pretty much every day. I sell insurance for a living, so people don't like buying insurance. Pretty much, apparently, all insurance issues they've ever had, it's my fault. So I get insulted and yelled at quite on a, on a very regular basis. So, yeah, daily. Favorite flavor of sweets? Oh, like candies? That's a tough one, but I would probably go generic and probably say strawberry. So if I have the choice of most flavors, if there's a strawberry in there. Uh, watermelon first, uh, um, but a lot of things don't have watermelon, so an average strawberry. What instruments do you play? <laughs> Nothing, like, uh, officially. Um, I play the guitar very, very badly. I might be able to get us through a full round of Kumbaya if I'm lucky. The other thing I do play is I play the bongos. I actually did take some lessons on how to play bongo drums. So, you know, back when I was a coffee beatnik and snapping instead of clapping and all that, I learned how to play the bongos. But the number one thing that I do play is a bugle. 
of all the random things a bugle. For years, I went to school in a town called Cranbrook, and Cranbrook had a tradition of a military-based band called the Cranbrook Girls Bugle Band. I was a Lance Corporal in the Cranbrook Girls Bugle Band. I was in it straight through from grade 5 all the way through grade 12. It was not part of the school, it was outside the school, but that was the youngest you could start. Um, I played a crook, which is actually an extra extension on the bugle, so there's the bugle, and to get some of the higher pitch notes, you can actually add an attachment to it right where the mouthpiece goes, and it adds an extra twist to it and allow you to get some different pitches. So I played a crook <laughs> and a bugle. So yes, I could play a bugle. Uh, <laughs> that was embarrassing. I don't know why I told you guys about that, but yes, I was in the Cranbrook Girls Bugle Band. <laughs> um... Uh, favorite piece of jewelry? That would be my ring right here. Um, when my husband and I got married, we were young and broke and very, very poor, and we didn't have the money to buy a ring. So my mom, when my, when Sean, my husband, asked for my hand in marriage from my parents, asked for permission, uh, they gave him the set that my mom was married with. So that's what I was married with, so I never had my own ring. Um, on our, really close to about our fourth, fifth anniversary, uh, we were finally starting to get financially sort of settled, and we bought our first home and all that kind of stuff, and uh, um, we bought this. It was on an online auction. We spent 72 bucks on it. It's a price for a lot more than that. Um, it's little itty bitty diamonds. It's white gold, but it's not worth a lot of money, but it's worth a lot to me because, and I wear it as my wedding ring now because it was my ring. So it's my ring. I still have the set I got married with, so. Um, do 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 do. Last sport you played? Um, I used to play girls fast pitch softball, and then um after I got a bit older and married and whatever, uh, my husband and I <laughs> joined a beer league, slow pitch baseball team. But that's probably the last sport I played other than golf. Uh, since I've been diagnosed with MS, I haven't done any of that because let's face it, I have no grip. So golf. <laughs> when I try to golf. Uh, A number one, if I'm lucky enough to hold my hands still enough to be able to get that club right next to the ball, I swing, and the club probably flies just about as far as the ball does. So golf is not really a sport for me anymore. Um, my sport is more along the lines of I went for a walk around the block. <laughs> so no, no sports. You should see me pay playing darts. It's very dangerous. <laughs> um... Last song you sang? Ooh, 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 uh, that, that, um, oh, uh, um, and you la, 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 be. Do, do, do. I can't, I can't think of what her name is. Um, your lips are moving, your lips are moving, your lips are moving, and you la, 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 baby. Sorry, I don't know what it's called, but that song was on the radio. <laughs> and now I have it running through my head, but I'm not gonna... I'm not a good singer, so we're not gonna sing it. Um, a favorite chat-up line? How you doing? How you doing? Uh, <laughs> that's probably the only chat-up line I know. Uh, have you ever used it? No. <laughs> uh, no. No. <laughs> I'm just picturing me trying to pull that off, and it's just bad. No, I've never used it. I don't think, I've never used a chat-up line. I'm the girl. I don't have to use chat-up lines. They can come chat me up. I'm sorry. That's probably bad. That's like old school, but I'm an old married broad now, so I don't know how things work anymore. I would be so bad at dating now, just because I'm so set in my ways, and I'm just, yeah, I'd be like, eh. Everyone would get cut off. I probably wouldn't even like my husband if I had to date him now. I love him to death because we've grown old and awkward and cranky together. But no, if I met him for the first time now, I'm not, I'm not sure. That's a horrible thing to say. <laughs> I do love him very much. Uh, he's my best friend. We are definitely best friends. Two peas in a pod. <coughs> And it's weird, people don't get us because we pick on each other all the time. So people think we're actually fighting. They'll be like, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> we tell each other to F off and whatever. And it's always in good fun. We laugh after. We're like, ah, F you. And then we're like, ha ha ha. And people are like, what 
It's wrong. People think we're weird. And and we are, but that's why we get along so well. <laughs> um, number 49, we are almost done. Last time you hung out with anybody, and that would be night before last, my dad's cousins. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Caramel ribbon crunch time. I don't know. I got a tickle in my throat. Um... Uh, my family's really, really close, so I'm just as close with my dad's cousins and their kids as I am with my aunties and my first cousins. So two of them came through town last night and were camping. Uh, we live in a really big holiday area, so lots of campsites. So they were camping. We ended up bombing down over there, hanging out with them in the campsite and drinking a few beers and not eating dinner till 9.30 at night. So yeah, we had a blast. It was a good time, but that's the last time I hung out with somebody. And number 50... Who should answer these questions next? So who should answer these questions next? I'm going to say all of you. Um, I think all of you guys should answer these questions. The reason I started YouTube was because I wanted to meet new people and get to know new people and share what I enjoy and maybe make some new friends. So the more that you guys know about me is probably the more I want to know about you. So if you guys post a TMI tag, just Google it, the questions, you can find 100 pages that have the questions on them. Sorry, I have to put my glasses on. My eyeballs are starting to hurt. Uh, yeah, so I, I'd say everybody should do it. Let me know, if you guys do the TMI tag, even if it's the only video you ever put up, I will watch it, I swear. Just tag a link down below or write me a comment and let me know it's there and I will check it out for sure. I think it'd be really fun. We can all watch each other, get to know each other. You know, you know, good times. Okay, guys, well, that's it. We are done the TMI tag. Uh, the couple things, I just wanted to let you guys know that I've had a couple requests for mailing information. Sorry. I actually tilted the camera. Apparently, I wanted you focused at my boobs, my bosoms. Mm-hmm. No, no, eyes are up here. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to let you guys know I've had a couple requests for mailing information for me. I have opened up a P.O. box. Uh, I got the information down below. Uh, be sure to follow me on all my other social media. I'm on Twitter, Pinterest, uh, Instagram, Snapchat. I'll leave the links for all of those down below. Like I said before, if you guys post a video or have a channel you'd like me to check out, Leave me a comment, let me know you're there. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up to show your support. Don't forget to hit that subscribe bus button. Button? Hit that subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, thank you guys so much for stopping by, and I will see you all next time.